Now, Andrew Sherritt was not just going for the bid. He was gunning for the title when he took up the gavel in the 2020 Heartland Bank Young Auctioneer of the Year competition. As reported by Annette Scott as a newsmaker in this week's Farmers Weekly. Now, when Andrew Sherritt was finishing up his studies at Lincoln University, just down the road from here, he wasn't certain what career pathway he would take. Got a bit of a theme going on. He played hockey in France for a couple of years and then uh, he returned to New Zealand back into the livestock selling business. This time with Hazlitt Livestock based with the company's Mid and South Canterbury team and Andrew joins us uh, still on the job on the side of the road. How's your day been? Where have you been, Andrew? Sort of paint a picture for your day-to-day job. Uh, No, well, Monday's normally uh, Tamuka uh, cattle sale and sheep sale. Um, so I spent the morning there and then had to shoot over to Albury to do some bulls and then I've just been up the Rangitata Gorge um, drafting some hoggets. So, yeah, just slowly making my way home. What a terrible office to be in up the uh, Rangitata Gorge. Yeah, no, she's a pretty hard place to beat on a yeah, gorgeous day like today. Yeah, Absolutely. Nice. Well, firstly, yeah. on behalf of our listeners and viewers, congratulations on your win. Uh, for those who are unfamiliar with the Heartland Bank Young Auctioneer competition, can you just explain what's involved in, in how you participate in such a thing? Yeah, so basically it's um, designed for the, the young up-and-coming up auctioneers in the, in the um, livestock industry. Um, so you've got to be under the age of 30, um, which I just slide under. Um, and so basically uh, you run through an interview pro- process the night before and they just sort of ask you questions on the um, the rules around auctioneering and, um, yeah, just general livestock questions. And then obviously the following day we uh, did a live auction of three, three animals um, or three lots um, at a live auction at Canterbury Park. So... Yeah, so basically you're just going to be under 30 years old and in the livestock industry um, and yeah, willing to give it a go. Was it your first year as entering? No, I did it uh, four years ago um, and I sort of, <laughs> it was an experience. So I thought I'd better go away and get some practice under my belt. Um, it was pretty eye-opening. So yeah, so went away and did just that. Yeah. Like a good young farmer's competition. You thought, right, I'm going to make sure I come in and smash this. <laughs> and it <laughs> looks like you did. Well done. No, thank you. What were yeah. some of the challenges against the other competitors? I mean, was it a pretty strong competition? Yeah, it was. I think all the guys that did it were very strong auctioneers. Um, there was a couple of guys there that were selling, selling cattle for the first time. You know, they did a pretty good job so yeah no there's definitely a lot of up and coming auctioneers coming through so I was just lucky enough to scramble through really. Tell us about your journey you played hockey in France that's pretty exciting and then what led you home? Um, Yeah well there's only so long you can live in France I'm sort of you know used to the the country a wee bit and uh, wide open spaces so living in little uh, small apartments yeah you only can do that for so long. I hear you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. And what about the prize of going to the Sydney Royal Show? That's sad. Is it what happens instead? Um, well, they're hoping to. Um, it's up and running next year. So I think Sam Brown, who was the previous winner last year, also didn't get to go. Mm. Um, so hopefully that it's up and running next year, and then both of us can head over. Um, which would be a pretty cool experience for yeah, the both of us to go over at the same time would be pretty cool. Good luck with Sam Brown in Sydney. <laughs> <That's all laughs> yeah, 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 no doubt. Yeah, no, no, that's excellent that you get to go because uh, every you know previous winner of the Heartland Bank Young Auctioneers has absolutely um, thoroughly enjoyed it and I know that Logan is um, absolutely uh, you know a bit of a celebrity over there and they really love the <laughs> Kiwis, so it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, no, they do. Yeah, definitely. Hey, um, what about challenging these young auctioneers? And, of course, it being something of COVID, we saw these hybrid auctions. It must be extremely hard to auctioneer those where it's online and offline at the same time. Yeah, no, there's definitely um, evolving new things happening. Um, and, yeah, the hybrid thing and the online, it's sort of probably, you know, moving to towards that. Like it sort of gives you a wider audience and a wider – buying power for the vendors as well so yeah no it's um something that's new and exciting i think it'll develop more over time Mm. how's hazlitt as a company finding um you know utilizing technology as well as um their traditional methods of selling as well and and what does the future hold do you believe 
Yeah, well, I think the like you said, the traditional ways of uh, auctioneering is always going to be there. Um, like we've got our our farm lamb sales up at Glenmark tomorrow. Um, so, I mean, they were always going to be, you know, your traditional on-farm sales that might not be brought to an online audience. Um, but I think the online system's got its place. Like, I think it's quite good at stud sales and, um, you know, lots that come up and by themselves. Um, people can get more time to look at a single bull coming up. I think it's, yeah, working quite well through the stud sales at the moment, which mm. is really good. And while yeah. we've got you, I know there'll be a lot of people uh, listening and watching who want a, a little bit of market commentary. Andrew, yeah. um, how, how are uh, store prices looking sliding into Christmas with so much uncertainty? What what type of you know sentiment are you hearing out there from farmers on the ground? Yeah, well, I mean, up until now, it's been uh, reasonably dry around where we are. Um, so like two or three weeks ago, things weren't looking that rosy. Um, lucky we've sort of had some rain since then. Um, so the grass is really taking off now. Um, but yeah, it is. There is a lot of uncertainty out there. No one really knows what's going to happen six months down the track, do they? So um, it's definitely playing on people who are buying stuff. It's definitely playing on their mind. Um, you're sort of finding at the moment people are probably looking for more shorter term sort of trade mm. options um, rather than your long term, which is yeah interesting. With a, you know a lot of um, store lambs coming out now, and then a lot of uh, hundred kilo calves from the which people are reared. Um, a lot of them are starting to come out now, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Mm. The world certainly revolves around risk in every single part of the ind- any industry, doesn't it? Um, Andrew, yeah. um, just to close, because we've had a lot of fun with the comments as well as with our guests, you did say, it did say in the intro that you didn't know what you wanted to do when you were at Lincoln University. Do you remember back when you were a, a little nipper? A young boy, is there something you thought, oh, I'm going to be an X, and you thought thought it could be quite funny? No. Oh, I probably wanted to be a lot of things when I was little. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I was a bit of a terror child, so I was just into, into everything, gave it a go, probably didn't put much thought into things. So, um, yeah, no, I was pretty chuffed to get through uni. So, yeah, sort of, yeah, didn't thought it was um, be able to do it but yeah no I got through there so I didn't really know what I wanted to do so I was open to anything to be fair. But staying in the rural industry and obviously you've got the best of uh, lots of different worlds and your role with Hazlitt um, obviously as we said they're the best office in the country that's for sure in the parts that you get to go to. Yeah definitely no we're pretty lucky in our job that we do get to see some pretty good parts around New Zealand and you meet some great people along the way so you know I can't really complain too much. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. And again, congratulations. That's Andrew Sherritt, a winner of the 2020 um, Heartland Bank Young Auctioneer, a competition that happened here in Canterbury last week and the newsmaker in this week's Farmers Weekly. This is Sarah's Country.